Hey guys, it's uh, Ty from GamesFromTheFront.com, and uh, we've got another and actually final after-action report for our Where Eagles Dare campaign that we uh, played our 25th and final session on uh, January 6, 1915, uh, 1915, 2015. Happy New Year! And um, we uh, wrapped up the 1700 turn and uh, got into the 1900 turn for September 20th, 1944. Uh, let me give you a little quick recap on the 1700 turn. Uh, we had our five core players, um, two playing on the Allied side and three playing on the German side, so all five of us showed up. And uh, it was a pretty quiet turn. This was the remainder of 1700, as I said. Uh, KG Walther started off, um, and I don't think he had too much to do, not too many units on the map. In fact, I'd really have to kind of poke around to see where he's located. Um, and then we had a German direct command uh, chit that came out. I've been playing um, uh, Comp Group of Chill uh, and some of the artillery units that were here in Denther. And I think they inflicted a step loss on... Uh, yeah, on uh, 1st Battalion's support mortar. Um, and then uh, there were some direct attacks that were conducted by 59th Infantry down here in Best. And I think they eliminated um, a C Company from the 502nd. Um, and then uh, the Group Chill, uh, or Chill Division, uh, Division Activation Chit was pulled and really not too much effect. Um, in terms of, uh, I think I did a couple more attacks with the artillery, but those had no effect. And then uh, the 101st Division pulled their uh, division activation shit. And once again, they had zero dispatch points rolled. They did a little bit of movement around Best. I think they did a little bit of movement around uh, Sint Odenroda. And I think they're trying to get out of the way up here in, in Fagel, uh, but really not too much to report. So it's a pretty quiet turn. And so we moved uh, right on to the 1900 turn, which is, if you remember the rules from Where Eagles Dare, 1900 is a special turn in terms of the turn sequence for Where Eagles Dare. And the first action that we took was to move the club route uh, chit. And it, uh, the Allies had a clear route all the way north uh, off the map, or north uh, northeast. And the 30 core chit you'll see up here uh, reinforcement marker is all the way and, and made it off the map. And for that action, uh, the Allies joined, excuse me, earned 10 victory points. Um, and then there were 64 victory points, though, that the Germans earned because by the time the 30 core marker got off the map, there were, uh, I guess it would be 32 steps of 30 core that were still on the map, um, and each step earns the, um, I'm sorry, 64 steps on the map, and each step earns the Germans a victory point. Um, there was a release for 30 core, um, so they got five victory points for that. The um, American armored uh, showed up in best as part of the release, but that one was automatic, so there's no victory points for that. Um, and I think there was some off-map movement for Conf Group of Von Hoffman, who's been waiting to come back on the map, and we had some advances on the flank core. Uh, so those are the kind of the special parts of the turn for 1700. By that point, uh, we added up the, the totals for victory points. It was 120 for the Germans to 75 for the Allies, and by group consensus, we decided to call the game at that point. So that was the end of uh, Where Eagles Dare, the campaign game. Uh, we made it through what would be the s turn for the 17th, the turn for the 18th, the turn for the 19th, and most of the turn of the 20th. So not quite, uh, I guess if you take 17 as a half day, you know, you're talking about three and a half days worth of, uh, of activity. If you were to count up all the turns, I think we were on turn number 25 of 60. 60 being the maximum when the, the calendar ends. So we made it about halfway through. Um, that was the end of the game. I, mean, I guess looking back now, just a, a quick summary on at least my take on it, and I've talked to some of the other players about it. The, the, first of all, you have to remember going back to the initial sessions, this was a learning game. 
we had a lot of new players, including me, um, who had played a little bit of Grand Tactical Series but hadn't played the campaign game. We purposefully included new players. We purposely allowed people to join and leave. We definitely settled down into five or six core players uh, for about at least half, if not more, of the game. Um, but there's definitely going to be a, an element of learning, and even experienced players had done some things that they probably wish they could have done a little bit differently. But having said that, allies were definitely kind of behind uh, uh, behind the curve uh, from just about the, the get-go. Some of the things that stand out to me, they're a little bit slow getting off of uh, the front lines with 30 core. Um, they didn't have the, the most successful breakout. I think they got caught a little bit at the front line. They got caught a little bit and stopped a little bit of Valkensvald. And then really, I mean, they, some serious unfortunate luck here in Eindhoven. There's a pretty, pretty uh, good pioneer for the Germans who blew the bridge. Who, first of all, wired the bridge in Eindhoven on a first try. Uh, once the Allies made it up there, the bridge was blown. And then later on, um, the uh, Kampf group of Walther and their armored units were able to slip by and uh, destroy the Bailey Bridge. So the bridge at Eindhoven was was destroyed twice, and that really put a put the uh, the Allies behind uh, even further than they probably already were. I mean, the bridge was blown at Saan, uh, which is pretty likely to happen since it starts wired. Um, so they're going to have a pretty good chance at that bridge is going to be blown. I, they did have some good success at best and um, really had that that uh, town and the bridge at best pretty much in hand uh, after making short work of uh, some of the Eindhoven regional command units uh, that were stationed there and uh, the uh, Comp Group of Clem and the other 59th Infantry Division weren't able to put too much pressure on them. Uh, they had some success. Uh, Allies had some success at St. Odenroda. Um, Germans didn't put too much of a fight there. And shortly thereafter, uh, it was in Allied control. Um, Fagel, we didn't really get too much into the game or enough into the game to see the reinforcements for the Germans to put too much of a threat on Fagel. Um, the units that I was running from uh, Group of Chill here in Denther, those are the ones that got closest to Fagel after the initial units were eliminated. And so, you know, I, on one hand, the Allies had a pretty clear route uh, on the club route, but really getting stuck there in Saint, uh, excuse me, in Eindhoven uh, kind of really uh, made it uh, too difficult for them to, uh, to have much of a chance at victory. The only other thing that I, I think I'd pointed out, or I would point out, is that I think the reinforcement here uh, I think it was some Kampfgruppe Walther units came on here to, th to threaten Valkenswald. Uh, you know, no slight on, on uh, Tracy, who was running those guys. I just kind of wonder if, in retrospect, if we would have been better just kind of bringing them in in Geldrup uh, and having just avoided the, uh, the, the 231st, who, who can't advance uh, across this line. Anyway, those are some quick thoughts. Uh, as I said elsewhere, written up on my blog and on uh, some other forums on Facebook, one of the best gaming experiences I've had. Everybody was really willing to chip in and, and took the game for what it was, which was uh, a learning game, but also something that was uh, helping each other uh, with their moves and helping each other understand the rules. Uh, a really pleasant group of guys to play with um, and uh, really enjoyed uh, playing the Grand Tactical Series and especially the market uh, market guarding game here with Where Eagles Dare that, that Adam Starkweather put together. And also hats off uh, to uh, the Vassal module developer. Um, certainly I've said it before, but one of the best Vassal modules that's out there. So with that all wrapped up, uh, interestingly enough, I'm prepping a campaign game, a com combined campaign game for Devil's Cauldron and Where Eagles Dare. I've got about nine or ten guys lined up, and uh, we're going to start that off in about two weeks. So we've got a couple things to work out, but uh, looking forward to seeing if we can pull the bigger game off. Anyway, thanks for watching all these sessions. Appreciate the positive uh, feedback, and uh, uh, look for uh, some news on the other game. Thanks for watching.